All right, we're all loaded up. We have the CR125 mini bike as well as the Ninja. Today, joining us, we have Scott, a friend of mine from years ago. Yeah. He's gonna be on the CR125 mini bike at first, and then we're gonna swap him out. He wants to try both of them, of course. We're headed to Doe Mountain, the place we took the VF1000. So, should be awesome, beautiful day. Beautiful day for it. Hopefully it won't rain on us. We got everything loaded up. Let's, uh, let's hit the road. All right, we just made it to Doe Mountain. This place is uh, pretty empty. It seems like we have the park to ourselves. We got to get unloaded. And uh, have you ever ridden a dirt bike? I have, um, but nothing like this. So nothing like this. It's going to be an experience. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Yeah, the muffler's uh, kind of right there. You're wearing shorts, so that's going to be an issue. Yeah, I know. But I, I've never even driven this thing, so it's... Have you not? Uh, except in my yard, in first gear, so I'm not really sure how the gearing is. Took off is down. Let's hit the trails.
back of my seat's getting really hot. Is it really? Yeah. How's that thing doing? Oh, it's doing great, man. Like, I can't get out of second gear, though. You can't? I can, but, like, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these trails are pretty bumpy. It's what, fun. What do you think of that thing? I think it's amazing, man. Really yeah. Running up to that, but no, it really is fun, man. This is a, it's a wicked little bike, it's a CR motor. I'll tell you what, man, it's, it's fun. Yeah. I'm smelling coolant coming out of mine. Are you? Yeah. Which, with this thing, when it gets really bumpy, uh, coolant, you know, does leak out. Yeah. Which we will just have to keep an eye How's on that. Huh? You gas up on you or no? No, not at all. That's, which has been nice. nice. But do you want to trade or do you want to keep going? I said we go to a farm that's a little more flat. I'm gonna have to figure that thing out. Man. Like it's gonna take yeah. me a second. Yeah. Like, holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. The the rear suspension kind of seems a little soft. Dude, it's it's butter. And really? It's going over those rocks and. and all of that is butter, man. Really? It's, yeah, it's super smooth. This thing, not so much. Really? I'm bouncing around right. all over the place. Dude, this thing is it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. The, the, the...
Alright, we finally got to take the the, uh, the CR125 mini bike off running for the first time to really see what this thing can do. And I gotta say, I love this thing. It's it's super comfortable drive. It's I've been on some mini bikes where it's like you're driving off roading and you feel like you're just, gonna, you're just gonna fall on your face the whole time. And this thing handles super well. It's super comfortable drive. The rear suspension. It's a little on the soft side. I will have to tighten it up a little bit more. But uh, it did bottom out a couple times. But it being long travel, really soft suspension, it was just a super comfortable drive. And uh, this thing is incredibly fun. Now we did have a couple issues with the Grave Ninja. It did break down. We had to push it back to the truck. We did have to use this to tow it up some pretty steep hills. I had to do two separate videos because I didn't want to have one video just focused on the Grave Ninja breaking down. I wanted to upload a video of taking this thing off-roading for the first time because I know you guys have been waiting for that forever for me to do that. So I'll upload, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload that before or after this video. So I'll put a link to it in the description below anyway, so definitely go check that video out of the Grave Ninja breaking down and we had to push it back and use this thing to tow it back to my truck. Definitely go check that video out. So Now I think this thing proved itself. It runs fine, there's no issues, radiator's fine, the rear suspension's fine, the engine works perfect. Engine could use a little bit of tuning, but that's, that's on me. So I think it's about time to paint and finish this project. Now, I'm kind of leaning towards the colors of red and black, just because red is a Honda color and this is a Honda engine. Let me know if you guys have any other color choices that you want me to consider, but uh, if not, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna choose red and black. I'm not really sure when we're gonna get to painting this thing because I'm kind of working on a bunch of other stuff right now, so I'll hopefully get be able to get to that soon. But uh, for now, I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. Up. Something's smoking. Oh, don't breathe that. Don't not breathe that.